it might be time to start handing out pink slips. Guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna, and if you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. We are in our seventh year of homeschooling, wrapping up our seventh year of homeschooling. Um, we have a sixth grader and a second grader. Today, I wanted to come here and I wanted to remind you that we are hiring curriculum. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. While you are down there in the comments, you can find me down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. So, today's video. I was inspired um, by watching Dawn over at Minimal Mom, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with her channel, but she's a doll and she's adorable. And she focuses on minimalism and decluttering and things like that, which is something I always just aspire to do and never do, but that doesn't mean you can't get some good kernels of wisdom. And one of those, she said, and I think she had even said that she had heard it somewhere else, but she talked about bringing things into your home and that when you bring something into your home, you are hiring it to perform a job. And this really sat with me and it really, I feel like, is the perfect way to describe curriculum usage in your homeschool. You have chosen this curriculum among the sea of candidates, you have decided to give it a job, to take it into your employ, uh, you've brought it into your home to perform a specific task, role, job. You are hiring the curriculum pieces that you select to perform a job. And I think that if more of us can think of the curriculum that we bring into our home in this manner, it will make it a lot easier when it comes time for a breakup. I know that once you have invested time and energy and money into the pieces that you have chosen to use for your homeschool and for your learner, it can be so incredibly hard to move along when the time comes, when that when it is needed that we move along to do something else. And I think if we can reclassify our use of curriculum as hiring it to do a job, it will allow us to be a little bit less emotional about the process because when you do get invested, when you do invest money, time, and energy, it can be so hard to quit. Despite the fact that the curriculum may not be serving you or may not be serving your learner. And I think if we can kind of remove the emotional connection that comes from that, if we can stop looking at this process through the goggles that we have not chosen well, that we didn't invest well, that we didn't choose wisely, and instead look at it as we are the head of this company. We are the CEO of our homeschool. We have looked at all of the available candidates. We have run background checks. We have reviewed resumes. We have contacted other people who have employed this curriculum and gotten their recommendations and their reviews. We have done our homework. We have put in all of the steps and now we evaluate whether or not the curriculum piece has lived up to their end of the bargain. And so rarely do we, especially as homeschoolers, look at it as the curriculum has failed us instead of we think that because it is written by someone else and because we have spent money on it, that it must be something lacking with us. How often do you think a CEO of a company, how often do you think uh, Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk sits at the top of their tower and says, you know what, it could be me. I want you to take just a little bit of that arrogance into your pocket, let it sit with you and say, this isn't me, it's not me, it's you. And when it comes to your curriculum, I want you to genuinely evaluate it with no rose colored glasses, no guilt over the money spent or the time invested. None of that. I want you to look at it honestly and objectively. And I want you to evaluate whether or not it is doing the job it has been hired to do. Now, if it is not, 
it is time to fire said curriculum. Give it its pink slip, its walking papers, and get it out the door. Now, I know that quitting is a massively, massively shunned thing to do. Quitting is the easy way out. How dare people quit? You just need to stick it out. Absolutely not. You need to quit. Sometimes the right answer is quitting and it can be really hard to figure out how and when to do this. I am here, I've developed a little thing in my brain that I feel like makes sense and so I will continue to share it in hopeful help to you. If you evaluate your employee, your curriculum, and we sit down in an HR little hat and we say curriculum, if you came to work on time, if you quit microwaving fish in the break room. We can make it work. We can make it work. We've had some complaints, but we can make it work. So if you look at your curriculum and you say, you know, if I did this one thing or these two things, I feel like the relationship here could be good. It could work out. We could be on fresh footing and we can move forward. If you feel like you can pinpoint something or a few things that if you changed, if you omitted, if you pivoted, you could find success with it, then by all means, put that piece of curriculum on 90 day notice, okay? So it's on thin ice, but it still gets to stay on the payroll. If you can pinpoint something to pivot, to change, that will allow you to find success and feel happy, do that. However, if at the end of that time period, 90 days, six weeks, however it is you're measuring time in your homeschool, or if you cannot pinpoint something to change, if you hate everything about this guy, he never shows up. The guy never shows up, never does anything that he claims to, did not have any of the skills that he named on his resume. Turns out isn't even named that, okay? If you cannot figure out what could possibly lead you down a path of success using this curriculum, maintaining this curriculum in your employ, then you need to fire it, okay? So if the time is out that you've given it and it still didn't work, fire it. If you cannot possibly ever see a situation where the two of you enjoy the same office space ever again, fire it. Pink slips, all around. Now I know it can be really, really hard to get rid of something that you've spent money on or even worse, something you've invested energy and time with, which maybe you're three quarters of the way through the school year and you're just now to the point where you're like, oh, I literally cannot do this anymore. That is okay. I am here to tell you, you have hired curriculum for that job and it has failed you. You did not fail it. It has failed you. It did not do what it said it would do. It did not be honest on its resume. Every single reference that you called turned out was a cousin or a friend. So it is not you, it is the curriculum, okay? And I need you to have a really honest and objective conversation with yourself about the pieces of curriculum you have chosen to use. You have hired them to do a job. If they can continue to do a job, great, that's wonderful. If they can do a job kind of okay, that's probably good enough for now. If you have put them on probation and they have just a little bit of time to ship up by changing a few things, that's okay too. But if we've exhausted all of those resources, I need you to be a cutthroat CEO and fire them, okay? Even if it's as simple as you don't like it. Maybe that's all it takes. The curriculum's not unionized, it's fine. Guys, I hope that you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic.